Well, the Congressional Black Caucus says its mission is to, quote, we read the website, ensure that African Americans and other marginalized communities in the U.S. have the opportunity to achieve the American dream. Okay, well, that sounds positive. <laughs> But in fact, the Congressional Black Caucus is completely corrupt, as everyone who lives in Washington knows. But worse than that, it's just a political action committee designed to elect Democrats. They don't care about African Americans and marginalized communities, of course. And we know that for many reasons, but here's the latest. They are currently backing a white Democrat over Jennifer Ruth Green, who's running for Congress in Indiana. Jennifer Ruth Green joins us tonight. Jennifer Ruth Green, thanks so much for coming on. Now, you would think you're African-American. The Congressional Black Caucus would be, I guess, on your side. It's a race-specific group. But why aren't they backing you? Thank you very much for having me, Mr. Carlson. The hypocrisy in this decision is so incredibly clear. We see that this is about power and this is about policy. This is about right. process. This is not about progress. These are the liberal elites who want to have power and are focused on retaining it. And so their decision to back my opponent is hip hypocritical at best. Because largely, when you think about the fact that I understand the black cultural experience better than any white man ever will, I understand the growth that needs to occur. I understand what needs to happen, and I'm committed as a black woman and as an Asian American woman to progressing minorities in our country. I seem like the very clear choice, but because they want power over politics, the hypocrisy continues to be loud and proud. Well, maybe you know how corrupt they are. Maybe that's why they don't want to back you. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, sitting go ahead. in our district, as yep. I'm sitting in our district, we have a third of our people in Gary, Indiana, who are sub-poverty level. We have a third of the people in Gary, Indiana, who live in food deserts. And so here are people who are hurting. And so the economy that Congressman Frank Mervan has voted for has consistently put them in a place where they have to choose between gas and groceries, where Congressman Frank Mervan has voted for $3 trillion in spending and has spent their grandkids' money. And these are African Americans who are clearly hurting, and he has zero regard for them. And they are focused on trying, the CBC specifically, focused on trying to elect continue to elect him because overall they believe he's doing a good job. But I can just tell you this, Mr. Carlson, there is a, a, a line a mile and a half long of cars that sit outside my headquarters. People who need to get to the food pantry, who need help. And this is the America that the Congressional Black Caucus wants to act as if it is helping black people. And it is very clearly not in Indiana's first congressional district. I've been to Gary, Indiana. It's one of the toughest places I've ever been in my life in this or any other country. It's overwhelmingly African-American. Um, it's really bad, I would say. What has well, the Democratic some... Party done for Gary, Indiana? Ever? You know what? We have some amazing people that live in Gary, Gary Indiana. Yeah, I believe it. I have some amazing friends, some people that love God, love others, want to serve both. And I am proud to have Gary, Indiana in our district. But when I think about the reality of people that are hurting because of these economic choices, this is a plan that has no action behind it. The congressman has no plan. But if you go to JRG.GOP, you will see a plan, a plan to help figure out the economic processes that need to move forward. And I'm disappointed in the hypocrisy that the, con the Congressional Black Caucus continues to provide because they don't have a plan and they would rather continue to crush people because it's all about, again, their power and the liberal elites versus regular America, people who want to stay in power, although they are doing absolutely nothing to make progress on the mission that they continue to talk about. Well, of course, if they cared, they'd be talking about Gary, Indiana and not Ukraine, but they don't care. That's obvious. <laughs> Jennifer Ruth Green, absolutely. appreciate your coming on tonight. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.